Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy and this is the number four What Is It review. And in this review, we'll be taking a look at Copenhagen Long Cut Mint. So what is it? So you got a metal lid on sturdy U.S. smokeless plastic can. It is one of the seasonal flag cans that they have just recently come out with. But you can see what the normal background color would be. Copenhagen, mint, and satisfaction since 1822 is all raised, as is the boxed raised rim in bronze. Going around to the side banding, you have large branding. And then general information and the scrunch U.S. smokeless warning label. The general information is that this is 100% American tobacco. Underage sale is prohibited. Sale is only allowed in the United States. And yes, just like the Skull products, they feel the need to point out that this is smokeless tobacco. So don't anybody light it on fire. Then you have cut and flavor, small and small branding and then manufacturer's information. Now, originally this can came in this wrap, which is why you're not seeing a barcode on this. On the back, you have the guaranteed fresh stamped US smokeless can and a laser printed sell-by date, which in this case is October 6th, 2019. So I'm going to cut into this. This is a product of the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee. The makers of Copenhagen, Skull, Grizz Grizzly. What am I saying? <laughs> Red Seal and Husky. And we're open. And we have a very moist product that's got a little bit of clumping in the can that is what the cut is looking like smell off the can which i have not been doing in these reviews i do apologize it's a mint that is registering sweet with me it's not overpowering though it's obviously a mint but it's not an overpowering smell so That's what you're looking at. I'm going to throw it in and hit the pause button. So, Copenhagen Long Cut Mint. What is it? It is a mint forward but not overpowering mint dip. Uh, Nominally, it would be a peppermint. Um, there is sort of a neutralness in the mint flavor-wise. It's not as peppermint as, let's say, the tough guy. But it is, it, it, it is a peppermint. Um, it, it, it's by no means, let's say, a spearmint. Let, let me put it that way. It is not overpowering. It is very present. It is mint forward. But there is some tobacco detectable underneath it is not as overpowering as let's say stoker's mint all right the nicotine content is good the cut is excellent and the moisture level in copenhagen products i i never have a problem with it, it it's a pretty moist product and along with the cut the two make it easy to pinch easy to use stays formed in place and solid the cans, they're cool cans. Uh, I'm going to say again, if you see the snuff can, you want to grab one of those because that's probably the best one out of the lot. But the standout oddity is the straight, that they did a straight seasonal can. But it works, it works pretty well here with the mint. All right. So the mint, it's a good mint. It is sweet. There is a cooling sensation. The cut is good, stays formed, easy to pinch. Moisture level is up there. Um, 
Nicotine is satisfying. Smell off the can is pleasant. There's a cooling sensation, but I don't want to say it is a burn. It's not a burn by any means. I've heard recently people sort of bad-mouthing this product as uh, tasting like, I don't know what, I, I forget what it was, toothpaste or mouthwash or something. I don't get it. it, it it's, it's a pretty good mint in my mind and something that if you like mint, then you've probably already tried it, but if you haven't, you should. Um, so this has been the What Is It review of Copenhagen Mint. It's a thumbs up in my mind. Um, I have bought this product off and on for years now. Every once in a while. I'm not a big mint person. Anyway, I do hope everyone is well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.